All right, the next thing I want to demonstrate is checking the tappet clearance for the valves. What we want to do is to get the piston to top dead center and then advance it just to it's about a quarter inch down from the top. So what we'll do, that's about a quarter inch right there. And then the Briggs book tells us that for this model engine that the uh, intake valve should be a minimum of 0 .005 and a maximum of 0 .007 between the uh, valve and the tappet. So we'll get the fueler gauge out and we'll pull up 0 .00, well we don't have a 0 .005 So we'll use a .006, it's right in the middle. Slide it in there. Fits in there good with just a little bit of resistance. So I'm happy with that. That'll work. Now the uh, exhaust valve here, the book says minimum of .009, maximum of .011. So let's pull up um, the one in the middle again, 0 .010. See how that works in that one. Yeah, there's a little bit more clearance there than I'd like. Let's try the next one. Point zero one one. Okay, that's a much better feel. So, all right. So our valve clearances are good. And the internal part of our engine is all assembled. On to the next step.